In 1972, the U.S. Defense Intelligence Agency, or the DIA, issued a report which they call Controlled Offensive Behavior, USSR. And this was a study of Soviet uh, research into what we would call psi phenomena. Going back to the 1920s, the Soviets appeared to have had capabilities that were vastly ahead of what the Americans were doing at that time. The Defense Intelligence Agency left no doubt that in the minds of the U.S. military, the Russians really were studying people who actually could perform psychokinesis. And this was not trickery and could not be brushed aside. The DIA report highlights one especially worrying example of Nina's abilities. Begin. An experiment in which Sergeyev keeps a live frog's heart beating on a stand connected to a cardiogram. Scientists report that Kulagina has been able to stop the beating of a frog's heart. Not only can Nina stop the frog's heart, she can reanimate it. Its military implications in controlled offensive behavior, if true, are extremely important. If the other side was developing people who had the ability to remotely influence behavior, or even remotely kill, as was speculated about, well, then you'd certainly want that capability for yourself.